Shit one. Let me explain today's video. Today is going to be a little bit of a different kind of video, a little bit of a different kind of photo shoot because Epidemic Sound, which is a company I work with, uh, I get all my copyright free music from Epidemic Sound. They pretty much invited me over to Stockholm because they're based here and they asked me if I wanted to do a collaboration with a musician that I liked from Epidemic Sound. His name is Lupus Nocte, and he makes a lot of synthwave, 80s retro wave music. reached out to me they're like oh yeah which artist do you want to work with and I was like yeah I really want to work with this guy and I think that he's sort of new and up and coming on the scene I'm not sure how much music he's actually put on epidemic sound compared to some of the other artists so they didn't even know where he was from but turns out he lives in Stockholm as well which is why I'm here because I thought he lived overseas in America or something like that but he actually lives in the city here so that's nice and convenient we're gonna go meet up with him and we're gonna try and do a photo shoot that matches his music I thought we could pick up an 80s style car for the photo shoot that we're going to do together to maybe make something cool for one of his new album covers like 80s car, 80s music, yeah, I don't know, we'll see what happens. To get the car, I'm going to need a little bit of help, so I put it on my Instagram if anyone can help me, and so a guy called Max reached out to me and he's coming along today with his friend Kevin and to be honest, I don't actually know how legit this whole thing is, so we're just going to see what's going to happen. Oh yeah, I'm good. Nice to meet you. There she is, what a beauty. <laughs> such a random car. Oh my God, a Saab 900. My favorite thing about this car, it's got little windscreen wipers for the front headlights. <laughs> Have you seen this? Here's actually a fun fact. I learned how to drive uh, when, I, when I was like 16, I learned how to drive in one of these. So this, these kind of cars have a special place in my heart as well, but. I can smell the age on the car. I can actually smell the fucking car from the outside. Like, you know that old musky, like, I probably shouldn't speak to that. This is actually the car dealership. <laughs> yeah, the Let's go. Yeah, I don't even know what the RPM is. Because where the RPM should be is a fucking clock. There's no RPMs in this car. Oh, this is so funny. It's like a big boat. What's up, bro? Hey, man. How, How are you? How are you? Yeah, good, man. Oh, wow. This is like so soundproof. I just realized how good it is to like speak here. Ultimate sound quality right now. Well, I'd love to see like, yeah, if you get the program open. Yeah. You can I, see like some of the juicy details. This should be Howling, the original project. So many layers. Yeah, I, I did not realize it was that many layers. Okay. Oh, and this is without. Oh, that's so cool. Can you turn off on on a, uh, the flute on and off again, and then back on? 
<laughs> That's awesome! But there's so much more than just like the flute and the beat. Like, holy shit, I did not realize that. Yeah, thank you. Like, look how long you're scrolling, man. Like, yeah. it's like a 50 page essay. Does this much effort go into each one of your songs as well? Like, yeah, yeah, I mean, this is a, a, a lot less than it, it is today. Wow. I okay. mean, uh, I can show you another project, but it's this uh, little. That's why it takes so long to load. Like, yeah, yeah, exactly. Oh my god, wow. But uh, yeah, so. Uh, Okay, we got the drums here. Classic lead drum. Wow, that's like amazing. Like the 80s. Uh, yeah. The classic drum machine from the 80s. So you really love your 80s? I really love the 80s. <laughs> yeah. Can you... Okay. So you make all of these, like the beats, the flute, yeah. uh, the, sorry, the drum, like the flutes, the risers, like you make it all? Yeah, except this guitar lick that we, you can hear in the... that goes into the drop. Okay. So. Right. So. Oh, that's so cool. Man. Together. Oh, wow. Yeah. And then we have the cheesy electric piano. <laughs> that I played yesterday, but you didn't recognize the song. Oh, right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we went to a party last night. And Sam starts playing, oh no, Lupus, sorry. I said I'd promise I'd say Lupus for the rest of this video. <laughs> <Yeah>. Lupus <laughs> starts playing the piano at this party. And he's like, Mike, what's this song? And I'm like sitting there just like fucked on the couch. And I'm like, um, is it Adele? <laughs> <laughs> shit, mate, shit, mate. <laughs> I've never personally experienced like seeing like this type of music being broken down into this many different layers, you know, like when I go on Epidemic Sound and I go, go and pick a song, I'm like listening through it and it almost makes me feel bad that some songs that I have listened to by other artists, I just like haven't appreciated that much because I'm like, nah, that's not going to work for my video. But they've probably gone through the same amount of effort yeah. to make yeah, something probably. like that. Like it's all this effort that goes into a song. Sometimes like it, it doesn't work out the way you want it to, exactly, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That's crazy. But, yeah. But then you have to live with it. So. <laughs> And get depressed, so. <laughs> yeah. That's right, yeah, just crawl like a new What? Ah, uh, so I'm looking at it now. What does that mean, the two lines? Mm, I'm gonna double check, but I think control line is like the C stands for like that has to be. Marked. Yep. Otherwise, it's a failed uh, test. And the T says uh, positive for SARS and COVID. So, you, oh, so you, you tested positive? Yeah. Fuck. Um, so that that is positive. Fuck. Fuck, yeah. bro. Uh, that's a. So I can't believe how lucky we are. Can, can we reschedule it or how do we... Um, okay, how about if we can't shoot you tonight, maybe for the album cover, instead of taking your photos, we just still make the album cover. It just doesn't have you in the shot. Maybe we can get a different model to sort of sit in there, if that makes sense. Yeah, well, yeah that, would, well, that would work too. Okay. Uh, oh, I don't know if you can see that. So that means I'm negative, which is super weird because we were in the studio yesterday all day. Oh, I've got to improvise. Alright, we just made it to the location right here. We parked the car in the middle. We'll figure out the angle later. And I think this is perfect. Like, it's symmetrical. It's got this, like, New York, like, rustic, city, urban, grungy vibe. I just think it'll work perfectly. And surprisingly, like, right now, I'm always expecting, like, the worst case scenario every time I rock up to the location. I was 100% expecting, like, one car just to be parked right here where we needed to shoot. But, uh, surprisingly, there's... 
no one here. So once everyone's here, we can start getting to work and planning the first couple of shots. Real deal. I have a huge urge to just like <laughs> snap one in half, like. Oh. <laughs> so I only really needed like a couple lights, but we have eight of them now. So this mixed with the fog machine is, is should make some really cool pictures. Here he is. Hey, hey. what up, man? Been lugging around the goods all day. Exactly, man. It feels like I'm walking around with a like a time bomb. <laughs> I can hear like the gasoline. <laughs> Every time, like... Oh my god, oh, let me give you a hand. Yeah. But also this really feels like a drug deal happening know, right now. <laughs> like everyone's like rocked no, up here. No face, no case. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go, I just start it up like this and then I'll just ride it around all night. <laughs> Look at that. See that, it makes like an atmosphere for like two seconds and then it's done. So... This is so dodgy. Okay, so we're just gonna put that there. Oh my god, I hope the dealership does not see this video. Alright, you ready? <laughs> Alright. <laughs> oh, that's fucking sick. The next thing is, is now we'll get a big light and put it in. Okay, it's coming together, it's coming together, hang on. I'm thinking pink. Violet, pink, woo! <laughs> and then with the fog. Oh, yes, look at that. <laughs> yeah, baby. That's retro vibes. Oh, that's fucking awesome. Look at it from this angle back here. The Saab works so good for this shoot as well. Okay, what I'm thinking is more lights. So I might put a blue light on the back here as well and have the pink light in there too. But we might even close the windows for it as well. God, this is fucking awesome. <laughs> Have a look at that, dude. Holy shit. First test shot right now is so sick. That blue light is uh, a bit overpowered. So I might, cause like if you look at it on the camera here, it's way too bright. Like, I think I want to change the position of the car though, because I like, I don't mind this back three quarter, but I think like a direct back shot could look the best. Yep. So I want to just like reorganize the car real quick. <laughs> All right. This looks fucking terrible. <laughs> this is the worst photo I've ever seen in my life. This is what, <laughs> this is what it looks like. No, you, you gotta you gotta take the image from here. Yeah, the thing I'm finding like really difficult right now is trying to figure out like <laughs> at which light needs to go where, because that's really hard. The lights in the cabin, although they look alright on the human eye, but on the camera, the dynamic range between the actual car itself and the lights is too contrasting. Like the lights are blown out as fuck, and the car is really dark. So I might drop the percentage of the lights right down to like 10%, because right now they're uh, just uh, like 30% and the pink lights on 100% and then yeah, we just moved the car from like the back three-quarter to like a straight-on back shot And then I'm not I'm not really liking that either. It just looks like Amateur as fuck So I think we'll keep trying I might try a front shot of the car like how we intended to do originally because I think that's actually gonna look the best now
are you not coughing? I don't know. Because <laughs> you're immune. Yeah. So I was like, <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah, bro. I think I'm inhaling it. Like, am I taking a breath to say a word? We just had like a scroll back through everything we shot. And there's got to be at least three really good photos that we took. So I think we just called that a night, to be honest. So now it's up to me to sort of like edit the photo and overlay it to make it look retro. So I think we hop back in Lightroom and Photoshop and uh, see what future editing Mike can do. This is, this is the, okay, let, let me just show you, hang on. It's just on, I'm on a chair, I'm on a chair, on a chair, and the camera is <laughs> just sitting here. So I have like nowhere to put it, because this room, this Airbnb that we're in right now is like very bare, as you can see. And actually, it's very echoey actually. Hang on, hang on, I know, we're gonna look at the photos, give me a second, we just, Oh. <laughs> Fuck's sake. This is how I do my outros from now on. Just sit cross-legged on my bed. Whatever. There's no rules. I am the worst YouTuber. Okay, here they are. <laughs> I can't find like a comfortable angle to sit. <laughs> Fuck's sake. How do we do the outros like this now? All right, here they are. <laughs> I'll just do them like this, all right? <laughs> so I like <laughs> Oh, this fucking sucks. These are my three favorite photos from the shoot. As you can see, I feel like this is impossible for me to be serious right now, but I will try my best. Before we even get into like the rest of the outro and everything, I want to say a quick thank you to Kevin, Max, Hugo, Philip, and Silvio. Uh, Kevin and Max obviously helped me find the car. Philip helped me film all the B-rolls. Silvio is my, technically my sponsor for Epidemic who helped organize me even coming to Sweden. And Hugo was the guy sitting in this car right here, holding his hand up. Um, oh yeah, I get the spinny wheel. He's the one in there holding his hand up, getting hot boxed and sacrificing himself in there so thanks to hugo for doing that as well all super talented people and i would really appreciate it if you could go check them out on instagram so they're all up here and yeah thank you thank you guys i really appreciate it and it was definitely a fun time in sweden trying to sort all of this out all three of my favorite shots here were shot on the 35 f 1.2 from sigma and i think it was just the lens that just worked for the night to be honest i went pretty hard on the blue because I think it has that real cyberpunk vibe to it. And so if you look at some of Lupus's other artworks, I think this actually suits it really well. So he's got a few here that he can pick from to figure out which one's gonna work the best for his album cover. And I think the whole album is gonna come out pretty soon as well. So it's gonna be really cool to hopefully see one of these photos uh, on his yeah, album cover. And yeah, I think the biggest challenge for this photo shoot, obviously we had to prepare everything, like getting the generator and the fog machine into the car. But every time we had to change the angle and try a new angle, we had to move all the generator and all the lights had to be moved and stuff. The car had to be moved, the fog machine had to be put in again because you can't just drive around with wires and electrical cords just hanging out the cars and stuff like that. Even though I did, but it's, it wasn't really like a very fast shoot. We were there for quite a few hours, just like trying to get different angles and seeing what was going to work. And I'm actually really proud of how they turned out. I wasn't sure because this was like something completely different and like I wasn't sure. And obviously I'm in a, I'm in a country that I don't really know. I'm working with different people I haven't worked with before. So there was a lot of new experiences here that I was preparing myself for while still trying to get this like really cool cyberpunk retro 80s vibe sort of photo so there was a lot going on in my head but for not really knowing what i wanted to do and what final image i wanted i'm very happy with these shots here i've been using epidemic sound pretty much since i started youtube because like how else am i supposed to get copyright free music for my videos so eventually when i found out about epidemic sound 
and how many options they have, like all my sound effects, every single song I use for each one of my YouTube videos, like all the rises and like suspense music and epic music and like the hip hop. There's probably music over here right now. Every single song and sound effect comes from Epidemic Sound. I don't really like to do that much brand work and there's not many things that I promote on my channel because I think a lot of what there is out there on YouTube is just a load of shit. You know what I mean? So like, I see a lot of people just promoting things that they're only promoting because it's like, just because they're trying to get paid, which I get, and everyone's allowed to get paid, but like, I'm not gonna sit here and talk about something that I don't back or I don't think is a, is a good idea. That's why I love Epidemic Sound and especially what they're about. They want creators to succeed. There's like a lot of programs they have for both musicians and creatives like myself. There's a lot, a lot of different avenues, I guess is what I'm trying to say. A lot of different things that you can do with the company. So it's a, it's a company I can get behind. It's a company that I can support and vouch for. That's why I'm really happy to talk about it and recommend it to you. Because if you are a creative and you are looking for copyright free music, if you're going to be making reels or if you're going to be making YouTube videos one day or even just videos for a client, then Epidemic Sound is where I would recommend you to go. So there is a link in my description there. And when you click that link, you will get one month free or 30 days or whatever for free for you to test out Epidemic Sound. Maybe that's something you want to try. Just give it a test. Maybe it works for you. And also it's a good opportunity for you to check out Lupus's work as well and just add it to like your driving playlist or something like that because it's, his music is just good vibes, you know? All these photos are edited with my Lightroom presets. They come with 25 presets in a pack plus 25 walkthrough tutorials and 25 of my raw images for you to practice your editing on. Or there's also a combo pack I sell with 7th Era. It's all linked in the description there plus all the gear I used. Everything is in the description. Just go to the description, okay? <laughs> that is the end of the video. I hope I taught you something new in today's video. I'm sat here like a fucking dickhead doing the whole thing. So thank you for putting up with me. Have a shit one and I will see you in the next one. Ready? Escape. They're like, we're free. Uh -huh. We're free. <laughs> this car is such a piece of shit. <laughs> I mean, uh, if you want to buy this car, I'll leave a link in the description on <laughs> where you can go and get it. Oh god. Oh my god. They're gonna drift the polster on the pitch. Surely not. Surely not. <laughs> it's got traction control on. Oh my god.